Hello and welcome to another edition of Small World USA. And I'm going to start the trip out here at Metro Airport. And there looks like a lot of green gobbledygook out there to deal with. But I'm going to go to Nashville, taking Southwest. And I always like to see when, when they say on time. Frivolous, well, it's interesting. A company finally admitting that you really kind of don't need it kind of stuff. But here, North Terminal, it's not the McNamara Terminal where Delta has... Uh, the majority of the airport, and that's the main concourse. This is the uh, the northern terminal. That used to be the charter terminal there. I think that's scheduled uh, to be torn down. They have a nice eatery place at the uh, north end of the terminal. You can get the world's greatest hot sandwich there. Here, city of Detroit. All right. Promoting the city. And ready to go here. I'm on the plane. They don't have pre-reserved seats unless you really want to pay extra. Um, but nonetheless, it's, uh, I, it's pretty well set up. Okay, this is time of takeoff. Okay, we'll see how they do. Um, okay, time for landing. seemed like a super sh short flight time-wise, but that's only because there's an hour time difference uh, from Eastern Daylight Time at the time to Central Daylight Time. We have now switched back to Standard Time. Okay, yeah, so hour and a half flight, what a great deal. Nice little pedal jump. And Ryman Auditorium will be able to take a peek at that, at least from the outside. And you'll see a lot of guitars when you're in Nashville. It's called Music City and for good reason. Okay. My friend Jim would appreciate this. He's the transit trekker. But every now and then I'll take the bus. So I'm going to take the Nashville MTA. And I'm going to take this from the airport to downtown. What a concept. We should do that in Detroit. Uh, but we're a little slow. We're behind the times. That's probably because of a lack of leadership. But all you have to really do is see how other cities do and say, why can't we do that here? Uh, we're, we might get on the bandwagon eventually. That's the Ryman Auditorium. Their, their AT&T building, it's pretty much the landmark building in Nashville, certainly. Architecturally speaking, it's kind of stunning. This is where the Predators play. At first, I thought, Smashville, what are they talking about? But yeah, those hockey players, they're a rough bunch. So they made Nashville into Smashville. All right, people working here. Now, this is early Thursday morning. Here's a nice hotel, and there's a ton of hotels in Nashville. Coming soon... There's the Ryman again. And I'm on Broadway. Tootsie's Orchid Lounge. That's probably the most famous along the strip here. In fact, I would, I would guarantee that it would be the most famous one. But there's a ton of bars. And I'm here just before 8 in the morning. So uh, it's kind of quiet now. But believe you me, it picks up later. <laughs> uh, starting around 11, the bars reopen. They call this the district. Uh, in Detroit, we have a district now, too. Here are live music venues. You'll see, like, the guitar pick to kind of let you know uh, live music. But that's their gig in Nashville. You can see, see live music you know, virtually in every bar. It's amazing. Um, and only one place wanted a cover charge that I had gone to or I actually never went to but BB Kings they wanted $10 cover but when you get free music why pay a cover charge so I opted out of that one 
I'm not crazy about Margaritaville. This was a trendy area with the local Yoko honky tonk type bars from way back. They don't need those uh, those chain store kind of bars. Margaritaville's one, Hard Rock Cafe's another, um, Dick's Last Resort. There's, there's getting. I, I'm tired of those places. It's the guitar there. It's kind of hiding her booty, but uh, she was a looker as far as uh, neon signs go. Here, boots are a big thing in Nashville too. So they're styling. They had all numbers. Anything in yellow is like a bar. And so I'm where the star is now. And they have Printer's Alley, and then they have another strip on 2nd Avenue. Yeah, there's the trendy Hard Rock Cafe. I'm not partial to those kind of places, but that's just me. Um, I like this building, and this is in the morning, the first look that I have. I'm lugging my suitcase around with me, but everything takes on a different complexion at nighttime. And so that will do. We'll see things by early morning and also uh, nighttime. I ended up with almost three and a half hours of video of Music City here. So count on that appearing for quite a few <laughs> At least three shows here, but I'll have to see if I skip around and do local stuff for a bit. But I really like Nashville. Here's an art, couple art forms, or an art form within an art form. It almost looks like a roller coaster uh, gone awry. And then just across the Cumberland River is Nissan Stadium. And that's where the Tennessee Titans play. And then there was, well, that's the first musician I caught in town, but if you hang with me here, uh, you'll see plenty of music. And they have like a commuter train. This is one of the end stops, and then it might go, it's like 30 or 40 miles the other way. And it's like if you take the whole route, it's like 525, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, Nashville Airport. So I took the bus, and then here's downtown, kind of right where my finger is. And that's where I'm at on the banks of the Cumberland. And look how it moseys around all over the place. And then up here, this is Opryland. I'll do this the following day on Friday. I'll check out. That's, it, it is a complex. There's all sorts of stuff over there. And this is where I'm staying, where the red dot is, on Dickerson Pike Highway. And Cumberland not traversed too much, uh, I'm told, because I didn't really see much river action. But here we see steep plumber, pine bluff materials. It almost looks like a tugboat thing. Uh, this is the flood stage thing in measured out in feet so up to 50 feet and they experienced a flood in 2010 they had 13 and a half inches fall within like a 36 hour period whoa uh oh technical difficulties maybe i got a bad tape in there oh no oh no Let's see if it works its way through here. Hate when that happens. Sometimes the camcorder just needs to be cleaned. It's one of these old tape ones. Okay, there's the Cumberland River. And several bridges go over the river. One is a really cool pedestrian bridge. And here's some of the history. And the sun was trying to peek through there. This guy's got a hatchet. Looks like Daniel Boone. Uh, but this is Jacques Timoth, Timoth Boucher from Mon Mon honored as Nashville's first citizen. Well, there you have it. Rumpies. 
good name for a, probably a bail bonds place. You'd have to be grumpy. I'm still lugging this luggage. I'm going to do it for the better part of the day. Okay, public building and courthouse. So it's probably the public building is probably their city hall. Yeah, there we go. And it's spelled out. And a beautiful building it is. Some uh, gold accented uh, features. Oop, mature audiences only. Yeah, every now and then uh, the show is a little risque, so uh, it's like the buyer beware kind of thing. Be careful when you're watching uh, this show because there is public indecent exposure sometimes, but it's kind of done artistically, and usually to front like a building. Here's some history, though. This was good. Uh, broke down some of the barriers there. The Civil Rights era back in the early 60s. Look at this guy at work. He's like Spider-Man. Uh, I'm not typically afraid of heights, but I don't know if I was suspended by a rope like that. Uh, maybe over time I could get used to it, uh, but I don't know those kind of moments when you get that chill that runs up your spine <laughs> it's like it's kind of like tickles you a little bit but I don't know if I could do that all day it'd be but you know it's a mental thing you probably get over it and it probably pays well musicians hall of fame and museum so there that is off yonder and I like the architecture in Nashville I do the urban planning thing, we're going to see a lot of cranes, and I'll point these out. I mean, in Detroit, you see a crane every now and then, and so forth, and we're supposed to redevelop the Hudson site, so there'll be a crane or two there. But this, they're building a new jail, and so the cranes here, some of them are in action, and they're hot to trot with this project, because they were even working uh, Friday, late Friday night. Or was it late? I see him every now and then working on it. Okay. Music City Central, that's where the bus depot is. I'll show that. State Capitol, I'm heading that way now. But they had a lot of people working on this project. Usually, it's nice to have a little space between you and the other workers. Uh, but, uh, yeah, look, there's all sorts of trades out here. Deliver a white bag here. Bell Construction. I'm trying to show the sign, but it's not what the finished project will look like. Village people. Wow, we they were here. The Doobie Brothers, Alice Cooper, these are old ticket stubs. You can kind of see the prices sometimes if you look real quick. Even Elvis. Jackson 5. Ah, oh, thanks, bus. Here are the Music City Circuit electric bus, but that's free. It takes you on a loop around, which is kind of neat. November 4th, this was the day I was leaving, though. They had a country jam, jam fest. I guess you get to taste test a lot of jams, right? Bring your toast. I'm looking at the fall colors here. Um, they're kind of delayed this year. And then I think that's a memorial park there. There's more water action. And then a nice hill. And there's the Capitol up there behind the trees. I like those little curly Q things. It's an architectural feature. And they're doing work on the... I presume that's some kind of a dome in the Tennessee state, state flag with the three stars. This look, kind of looks like a, a graveyard for 
you know, Greek mythology type stuff, but, um, or even Roman, whatnot, but it was a tribute to the architects and the people that uh, built the capital. So, I'm still lugging this suitcase around. I want to get rid of that thing. But the hotel does not let you check in till 1. I stayed at Apple Annie's Inn. We'll see it later. It's not, not really a hotel, but... All right, country, follow along. That's like the main gig in Nashville, but don't you're not limited to that. You get the blues thing here. It's called the Music City, so they got it all. Gospel, that's part of the picture. Uh, bluegrass. And we're still still going. We're going to make the 360 here. Uh, jazz. Folk lady floating around with her guitar all over the place and classical even imagine that and rock and roll how can you forget rock and roll i wasn't counting that probably is eight right so anyways a neat little monument here's the state library and archives uh we'll see flowers and stuff especially when i get to that gaylord opryland complex wow they have quite the gig going over there Tennessee Supreme Court, kind of in the government area kind of thing. There was a little history on the state capitol. Carmack, all right. And looking out onto a war memorial plaza, we get some nice trees and some more water action. It's like the architectural details. So you got to remember, look up. Okay, America is privileged to spend her blood and her might for the principles that gave her birth and happiness and the peace which she has treasured. All right. Yeah. Okay, and then, well, they have different uh, memorials for the different wars and so forth. We'll see a few of them here, but this is a neat statue. This is for, God, it's hard to read this. This was World War uh, I. They called it the Great War, 1914 to 1918. And yeah, some nice architecture. I like the columns. Woo, the Wicked Witch. Or what she looks like a pretty witch there. I don't know what's up with that one. I'm thinking the Wizard of Oz. And she was a scary witch, the, the one that played that role. The Wicked Witch of the West. But she that one there looked pretty. Okay, War Memorial. And then here, uh, Korean War. Communism was defeated. But then we're still having issues over here. You see South Korea, and then there's the demilitarized zone. I think it's like three or four miles. I don't know. There's some gap. And then North Korea, they got that uh, crazy leader. But <laughs> then they probably looking at us and saying, yeah, they got that crazy leader. So, who's, yeah, I guess everybody's right in that case. All right, Nashville City Center, and then they have the Avenue of the Arts. Certainly we'll check that out. There's Printer's Alley, and they have live music there. And then this was like Broadway. They call that whole block, what would it say? It's like two or three blocks long. And then on 2nd, they even have more bars. I'm telling you, they got it going on. You're not going to not hear music if you go to Nashville. And that's kind of a, a good gig for them because, boy, it really brings in the tourists. They have uh, tours. So this was my first look at a, one of the tour buses. And they'll have plenty of party buses, too. All right. Well, I had a seat next to them. This is uh, Chet Atkins. Okay, 15 stops, live narration. Well... I like to walk around, take it a little slower. Every day matters. Well, those are some words of wisdom. 
Frothy Monkey. Well, I hadn't had my morning cup of coffee, so uh, I'm going to head back that way. But I'm going to check out the arcade. And this is old school. Needs a little work, a little elbow grease. But this could be a really happening uh, spot here in the city. There are a few vibrant places. Love people, love bubbles. So they're all bubbly there. But the second level is kind of cool. They got a nice wood floor. Here looking down, you know, smaller shops, individual businesses, and then artist places. So on the second level, there are more artsy type people. Here they're talking with the housing crisis. Yeah, that still exists. Just dogs down below so that must be treats and stuff for those guys here you could uh, roll stuff to roll a marble all the way down there was a little bit of an incline like maybe five degrees they had a post office they used to get mail to you via the horseback at one time wow yeah mature audiences only yeah I said that once already I'll probably have to repeat that several times here, yeah, the guitar pick, live music venues. And there it says, bad is good. It's said on her shirt. Bad is good. Yeah, it's good to be bad kind of a thing. And then uh, the farmer's daughter. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. And then if you need your boots shined up or repaired and whatnot, they had a few shoe places in here. That's a little too much styling for me. I'm kind of... Oh, I'm progressive in most kind of things uh, in politics, but when it comes to clothes, I'm pretty conservative. I don't like to stand out. Here's some more of that civil rights history. Uh, they had the Nashville sit-ins. So if you can speed read and all that, that took place on this block, kind of in this arcade area. And then this is art with crayons. Who knew? Wow. Like, art is everywhere, which is kind of neat. But this actually is what they call the art block. And look, look how fancy art, even with the coffee. I went to the Frothy Monkey, and wow, what they can do with coffee nowadays. Incredible. And now I'm looking across at one of these buildings, urban planning kind of thing. They have buildings that are not inhabited. Cashville. Who doesn't want more cash? Maybe that's where they're, we can get some. Uh, then the scene. This is like their version of the Metro Times. So they were, you know, you could get the music thing. This, you'd have to pay a ticket price for that to the Ryman. And then it's always cooler underground. They have a cave not far from Nashville where you can watch a concert in a cave. Now, that would be cool. Bluegrassunderground.com. That would be really, yeah, one of the world's coolest. All right, I don't get see where this Tom Tomorrow does, but he was in this magazine, and here, here he talks about climate change. And uh, he's very clever and spot on. Yeah, it, it's too early to talk about guns. We'll, uh, we'll get back to that when... It's, uh, it's necessary. But, yeah, it seems like every week or every couple weeks now we have uh, one of these things. I guess it's the new normal, as sad as that is. Get money. Yeah. Words to live by. They have a sale going on here. And then uh, Fifth Avenue back in the day. And Woolworth, a storied building. Then this is nice Sarah. She's got a good story here. And she had a sweet tooth. But she met the needs of the people. How cool is that? And other art in the window. Here the downtown Presbyterian Church. Very historic. Look at all the things that had happened here. Since... Oh, they're flying the rainbow flag. Oh, never mind. Yeah, 
we're, we can't have none of that. There's no room in our society for, for that. We have to adhere to strict religious. Man, well, I don't want to get sidetracked. Here you can take the B-bike. And that's, that's kind of neat. And then there's art sometimes tucked on buildings. You got to check through the alleys, try not to miss anything. They have different neighborhoods here. Uh, so they have a German town north of the city, North Nashville, Fisk. Uh, so you see the downtown. Now, Music Row, I'll check that out, but that'll be in a couple more episodes. That's downtown. Then they have South Nashville. This kind of gives you the layout of, of the land. Vanderbilt University, check that out. That'll be a future show, like two more weeks from now. Fifth Third Bank, this is a, a nicely done building. They had some good architectural work. Okay, bad food, bad drinks, bad service. That was that bad is good place that's in the alley. doing some power washing and here's printer's alley and so this has kind of got some historic stuff you know they have some buildings that are kind of abandoned uh which city doesn't but they're it looks like they're repurposing a lot of them so they're working on this one here bourbon street blues that's right up my alley and Noel Block Garage. I like the fall colors. Good time for the fall colors uh, in Nashville. And they're just started, well, they started just a bit ago up here in the Detroit area. But we're late this year. Printer's Alley, I'll make it here. Uh, I'll check a lot of bars, but they're not open right now. Okay, don't be a stranger, so I won't be. Oh, mature audiences only, yes. That was. And look, the artistry here with the Porta Johns, all the different colors. Who would have thunk you'd get art with Porta Johns? But art is in the eye of the beholder. But uh, yeah, but a lot of construction going on here. This is uh, probably someone from London that started this business. Look at the transit system London has. We just have the queue line and the people mover, but uh, London's got it. I like the logo here for Hotel Indigo, so they're not too far away. And World Famous Skulls, they have a rainbow room. Bourbon Street Blues, established 1995. We'll check out some great blues in that bar. And then, oh yeah, a little risque. And construction workers all over the place, which is great. That's how you know a city is progressing, is when they have this. Okay, the printer's alley gives you, you'd have to do some speed reading here real quickly. But uh, there you have it. You can't all get it in one thing. I have to go back and forth, back and forth. But pretty girls though and then some more artwork art murals a lot of times it may be graffiti but uh, I think you gotta almost call it art graffiti is when they scribble stuff this is well done and looks artistic although it, these may have been up for a while after a while some of the murals can get a little weathered Okay, and yeah, people doing stuff, had to stay out of people's way. Share your hashtag kind comments, so if you like that, I guess you can share your comments. Neat lighting, and then they even had neon growing in between the plants there. This is kind of like another little alleyway. And that's peeking inside a bar. And then even art, even with the ventilation systems and so forth, the tubing. Oh, yeah. Look at this. A lot of stainless steel. Well, stainless steel or 
shiny metal, aluminum. Then even art with this contraption, it's got all number of things. It's been corrected. But yeah, gas piping it appears. I'm not sure what the smaller lines there are for if that's sending out a radio signal. And then an alarm bell. Soda pop, so they they call it pop even over there. But that's a chain. It's a candy store. I'll swing back and take a peek inside there later. Here's Hooters. Yeah, that's another kind of like a chain restaurant bar kind of thing. Boy, I just like the local yokel kind of stuff. The stuff that's and and we'll see some of those places. I'll take in some of these bars. They are really eking of history and whatnot. It's it, they're fun. The sticky floors, the wood floors, that kind of stuff. Here you can get to as ancient as time as modern as tomorrow. So that's that tattoo thing. So this is Second Street and it is uh, there's a lot of cool restaurants. There was a Brazilian one there. Here's the nice grates around the trees, but they got the music symbol there the, and they got the old spaghetti factory, although I think that one has been there for quite some time, even though I think that's a chain. There's one in Toronto. I think there's a few others, but they got a famous three-course meal. This sounds like a pretty decent price, or their prices are reasonable. They're 13 bucks plus. Here's B.B. King's. They wanted the $10 cover, but they have top-notch entertainment, no doubt. And they have a nice stage there along the side. Their sandwiches, they have a Beale Street, although that's in Memphis. 1249 the debris burger. So, and I think BB King's ha has a few places. They got one in Chicago, right? And I'm sure they got a few others. Probably one in New Orleans. Hop on, hop off, tour all day. I didn't even check what the price is. I prefer walking. I see a whole lot more. Um, and I probably saved 25 or 30 bucks. What, buy one pair, get two free. How can they do that? Jeez. Uh, George Jones. Then they have a few larger than life things here. Cowgirl Bling. Wow. If you're a cowgirl, you can get your all your bling there. Who doesn't like bling? Doc Holiday Saloon. And a lot of nice, well, the older buildings are up here. This, uh, it's hard to see what that one said. Famous Saloon. I like when they have the born on date on top. And a lot of them have the rooftop bars and so forth. They're a, a place up there, so they're multi-level kind of gigs. And I would have had one massive hangover if I stepped in every one of these places. And they're making a statement here uh, about panhandling. Rock bottom. Well, Detroit experienced pretty much their rock bottom uh, back when uh, the bankruptcy was going on. But uh, we're back on that like sine wave kind of thing and we're swinging back up. But I think that's a chain too, rock bottom. I think I've seen that before. If you are a dreamer, come in. Aha! I was thinking about it, but they, uh, they weren't open yet. Corn, hay, oats, shorts. Well, that really, I'm not quite sure what that is. Bran, wheat. So they had all the grains here. Nice brickwork. And this is the headquarters for Beercade. Then the alley back here, so the old time brick, and this is my favorite ghost ad that they have back here that I saw Alford. Horses and mules bought and sold. That you should make sure you always save. That's kind of neat. I like that. And then boots, boots, boots. 
I, I've heard Tony Lama boots before. Luchis. Uh, there's an Indian and a cowboy here guarding the front entrance. Here's one of the bridges that crosses the Cumberland River. 68 degrees going up to like 74. Very mild. I brought like a bunch of winter stuff because it was cold back. And I should have checked the weather. I would have been able to realize that um, I didn't need to bring anything. It was going to be mild. I don't know why I didn't do that. Now with these smartphones, all I needed to do was put in the city of Nashville. So... I won't make that mistake again, but yeah, I could have brought my short pants because it was very mild the whole weekend. Here, Art in the street light, and this was the commuter rail that they had, so it followed kind of along the river for a stretch here. Next time I come uh, to Nashville, I'll probably take that just for shits and giggles. Um, then they have a swing. So I'm, I'm on the swing now. Wow, it works. There's my luggage. I still want to get rid of that lousy thing. Luckily, I travel light, so it wasn't too heavy. Mutt mitt, it's better than a bag. Then they got gardens here. And they'll be, I like these. I, I can't recall seeing these back home, but these are multicolored from like pink to yellow to dark red. And here's like a burning red bush. Those are great. And these things are kind of puffy. The mums. Yeah, the colors were kind of good. So somebody's doing a little caretaking here in their gardens. And then I'm checking that bus going across. There were a ton of these, like, party buses. I kid you not. Here, if you wanted the lights and cameras and so forth, look at the cranes. They, this is just south of the downtown area. Here, this one's swinging around, and you see some people up top. That might give me the heebie-jeebies, too, to be up there, because I know if there's a heavy wind, you could feel a little bit of a sway. That would be kind of spooky. Here, well, it's an amphitheater, an outdoor amphitheater, so it's the grassy area. I like that almost looks like a piano keyboard in a sense. And I don't know if they had chairs here or what they do is they allow you to bring your lawn chairs. But I'm looking back here at the stage. Bridgestone, uh, they, that must be their world's headquarters. The Nashville Predators Arena is also, it's called the Bridgestone Arena. So they're sponsoring that. 1,020 calories for the loaded fries. That's like half your daily intake. Because they say 2,000 is what a normal person would consume in a day. Here, a horse-drawn carriage. Yeah, so they call this the Riverfront Park. So the amphitheater, the bowl, they got a, the green. They have the dog park. And then here's the cool pedestrian bridge that goes over the Cumberland, and I'll get some pictures of that uh, in a later show, probably two weeks. Here, up in the crane, and there's another guy above them, but they have all the big chain hotels here, and they're constructing some new ones. We'll, we'll check them out. That, I'm not sure if that's a hotel back there, but that's a cool-looking building. I, I'll get better looks at all these buildings later. I had three days in Nashville, two nights, so um, I'm trying not to miss anything. And when it comes to urban planning and construction, I'm all over that. Because then I can kind of think how we can do things or get an idea like how they're building the city and how the pieces of the puzzle are coming together. And then we can look at Detroit and everybody can get involved in urban planning. Uh, I just want to talk about it a lot so other people might get ideas or think themselves. Because it's as important as the weather and sports and virtually everything else uh, you see on the news. Urban planning is quality of life issues. If you do it right... You create jobs, create vitality and vibrancy, and people 
it's the life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness kind of a thing, you know. It's Well, here at Hampton Inn, it looks like they got maybe an extension going on. So things must be good because, yeah, that thing extends out quite a bit there, the Skyjack. All right, Johnny Cash. Yeah, and uh, certainly um, one of the big stars uh, in Nashville. And certainly quite the guy, the man in black. So he was immortalized on that building. Construction jobs are good paying jobs. There they got the Omni Hotel back there. Country Music Hall of Fame. Now here's the Bridgetown. I presume that's their world headquarters. Here the police even have a bike on the back. Nashville Symphony. So this was a neat uh, angel. Just got the wings going on. But like the gold feather. Probably looking to tickle somebody. But yeah, nice gig. And that's the convention center and fairly new. And here I'm looking at this building. This, yeah, it's not, it's a squiggly shape. It's not like rectangular or triangular or square-like. It's got its own amoeba type kind of shape. Here another nice statue. Oh, there we go again. I have to have that public disclaimer. Yes, this is for mature audiences only. All right, that's the approach to the pedestrian bridge. And I wanted to check out the football stadium, but that will be on... Uh, Friday or the next day and might have it on next week's show we'll see have to uh, see how it plays out oh there we go again yes public nudity oh the horror and look at looks like some pit bulls or maybe bulldogs and then an owl ooh looks like a snake all right, there's Johnny Cash when he was younger. This guy, when he kind of had a bad hair day there. Usually it's just women that have bad hair days, but yeah. Patsy Cline, she's up on the second level. There's uh, two museums there. Now the police in action, and it's a crazy town, no doubt about it. If you like to party, it's a great place. <laughs> already started I kind of did a walking tour came back to Broadway and yeah they're playing music so this is cool stepped inside if all my problems are going to be solved yeehaw okay thursday it's the hickory smoked ribs that was advertised not a bad gig so that's what i'm getting that's been ordered we'll catch more music <laughs> Yeah, so that's what 
a peacemaker looks like. Yeah, the bar wasn't crowded when I first got here, but watch by the end when I finish dinner. It fills up. Sometimes I think it's shame when I get feeling better when I'm feeling no pain. Jack lives here. I, that's a cool neon sign. And American Pickers Vodka. Then, well, out back, uh, they have a little deck area and the little barbecue thing. So a lot of places where you can step outside, get some fresh air. This place had a breathalyzer. God, there's one there that says danger. Ooh. But yeah. But that's my first one, so I should be all right. Here's didn't well lunch. But there we go, my barbecue. And I got a bucket of supplies. And live music. Finished it off. It was good stuff. Oh, that one gentleman wanted to sing the the blues in the bar, so he was asking about it. We'll catch him on the outside. Plenty of these pedal tavern, uh, or pedal bikes. Oh, she's freeloading on the back there. Or maybe she doesn't, maybe she gets to. You know, not many people playing out on the street because, you know, you could go and play in a bar. And that's what they're doing. silver dollars. I mean, that bar thing was, <laughs> there was a lot of money there. And then a bridal party. The bride is getting crazy. She's in the white there, white shirt.
high at like 8 in the morning. Not much activity. It was stirring a little bit. You could tell it was going to get reawakened. But uh, now here uh, in the early afternoon, yeah. Get a few more people. And this is a Thursday afternoon. Then I even have it uh, Friday night. That's pretty crazy time. They had a lot of Baltimore Raven fans uh, coming into town. Ooh, flying Pigs. Um, the Ravens were playing the Tennessee Titans at the Nissan Stadium on Sunday afternoon. So Baltimore Raven fans traveled quite well and they were all wearing their purple. <laughs> Looks like a statue, but oh no. Watch, he'll move in a little bit. That's one. Cheers, John. Broadway here in Nashville. Tootsie's Orchid Lounge, that's the only place I got thrown out of. Not out on my ear, but I got escorted out. I got booted out. Well, they didn't actually hit me with the boot, but uh, yeah. Well, that's because they didn't allow, every uh, of these other places had no problem with me using the camcorder, but there they their panties got all tangled up in a bunch about it. But that's their right. I understand that. But <laughs> the rest of the places, it was like, have at it. Show the live music. Hey, promote these act, uh, performers, the, the band members. Yeah, the whole thing. This was the site of the old Nashville Convention Center, and they got the heavy artillery out here. They're working... God, they were working all over the city. This is 5th and Broadway. And don't I show what it's? Apartments, panoramic views, over 350 of them. A 26-story glass tower, so they'll have offices also. I think there might even be a hotel. Got to go around on the other side. 
But, uh, yeah, Detroit is going to have a lot of jobs because there's a lot of rebuilding that needs to be done in Detroit. So before you, everybody runs out thinking they got to get a four-year college degree, there's good jobs in construction. Uh, learn a trade, and you'll be in good shape. Here at Bertha Bluegrass, I'm in front of the Ryman here. You can speed read this here. The fiddle of Chubby Wise. Base of Howard Watts. The original bluegrass band. So they kind of were the start of it here. So this guy, yeah, it's like a church here, the Ryman Auditorium. I'm using Lyft, so Justin's going to pick me up. Um, and here Apple Annie's in. I'm going to get rid of my suitcase. Yay! It's got the wheels on it, which is great. What a... I wish I had the patent for that invention. That was a good deal. I'm across from Charlie Bob's restaurant, but it's all boarded up. Uh, they could do a lot of urban planning here on uh, Dickerson Pike. Uh, tire barn. So there were a lot of repair shops, tire places. It was kind of like a light industrial or thing. But I had a microwave and a fridge, shower, toilet, sink. I was good to go. And it had a TV, and the bed was real comfortable. And then Channel 4 Sports. And that was the final out with the World Series. Uh, I missed, I fell asleep, and I missed all that. But happy for Houston and Justin Verlander. Here, well, I slept. I was tired, and then I got up, and it's like I ordered pizza. And that's... Um, that was my din din for the night. Yeah, so I was eating well, my cholesterol level. And then I woke up to this. I went right back to bed. <laughs> I'm not going to deal with that. But yeah, thunder and lightning. Okay, I was using Lyft. I had trouble with Uber. So Lyft worked out pretty good. So I had uh, the driver here. I forgot what his name was there. But we Gaylord Opryland. It's a complex. So like, here's the, like right here to the front door. And... They have a golf shuttle. Golf is big around here, too. And then they have these big things here now with displays, those revolving doors. And then a nice glass sculpture centerpiece. Uh, my sister and brother-in-law probably get a kick out of this. That's well done. I'd hate to have to dust that thing, though. And then, well, guitars larger than life all over the place for pictures not picking so don't even try but if you like vegetation and all that happy stuff oh probably i don't know i'll probably get 30 minutes but they'll have to wait till next week's show uh, what a beautiful hotel there's three thousand rooms here and <laughs> the pr cheapest price was 2.99 Falls Bar, you can build your thing. Yeah, but thanks for watching, folks. Hope you have a great week or weekend, whatever the case may be. I'll continue uh, the trip, hopefully next week, the second installment. But uh, take care.